G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Station Ears. <sighs> They've released a survival update, which is giving us little reasons to build nice places. And you know me, I like trying to build a nice place, so I thought this was a great time for me to take another look at Station Ears. Solo so that I can actually get around to doing those things because I won't have any distractions. Well, that's not true. I'll definitely have distractions. But also, I do find that I learn better when I'm dying on my own uh, than uh, witnessing Kathak dying. So, yay! <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm going to do the stupid and go to the unvarying extreme temperatures and ultra-high pressures that make Venus no place for the faint-hearted. Only the most accomplished stationers will survive on our once sister planet, now a barren rock, dig deep or go home. I have never played on Venus. I don't really know what I need to do to survive on Venus, which means I'm certainly going to die. Uh, so, yeah, let's go. Uh, yep, normal. I don't think I want station here. Lung damage is enabled. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's all fine. Let's go. I got to load game. No. Why are you like this? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. One second. I'll start. I did verify the game files before I started, just because of the having modded this before. Um. Oh, hang on. I wonder if I've got to disable some of the mods. <laughs> Whoops. I thought I was prepped. Dang it. <laughs> I could have sworn I, I really should have tried to load. I really should have tried to load beforehand. Uh, ooh. Ah, oh, I'm not going to have any of the ability to have any of the mining mods that give me the extra stuff. Curses. Curses, curses, curses. Thanks, Daz. Thank you for four months. How's it going? And thank you, them, Stardust, for 22 months as well. Thank you very much. Uh, workshop. Do, 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 do. Uncheck. 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 I think those two should be okay. New world. Venus. Select world. Start game. At least the start. No. No. Who? Do I have to restart the game after it does the workshop changes? I'm just going to uncheck the lot. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> dang it. This was going poorly so far. <laughs> uh, thanks, Battlestorm. Thank you for the 100 bits. And thank you, Fulgen, also for the 100 bits. And Elemental! Thank you, you three. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Um, come on. Come yeah, on. Work this time for me. I should probably try one of the other planets if this doesn't work. Ooh. <gasps> Okay, it's time to die! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh... From what I understand, I need to dig. I need to remember how to play the game, too. That would be helpful. Uh, let's grab... Mining belt. Oh man, the pressure is high. So yeah, I, I, this might take me more than one attempt to get a, a uh, start going here. As it's a little bit difficult. So it's high temperature 
high pressure outside. Plenty of solar energy to be had, so once I can get some sort of space established, it should be okay. My goal right now is just to see if I can get the lander in a better position. Maybe even slightly protected so that I can be out of the full sun all the time. I hope that... I can't... I think that makes a difference. I can't remember for sure. We will find out. Uh... Thanks, Calmarin. Thank you for 14 months. Thank you, Baldedek. Thank you for 17 months. What the... I think I'm getting thrown away by all the... the air. Well, the atmosphere. I think it just pushed me away. Either that or I got rejected by the uh, pod. Ejected by the pod, I should say. that noise? I don't know what that noise is. Ah! Uh-oh. Temperature critical. Temperature high. Oh dear. That's not a good start. Okay, maybe I need to just dig in space underground and just go and drag everything in there. That might be a smarter way than trying to get the whole pot in there. Let's go. Dig, 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 dig. Hey. <laughs> um, thanks, Tedian. 14 months. I'm probably gonna miss some of these. Uh, thanks Dragon Knight. Thank you so much for tier 2 for such an important 42 months. Thank you very much. And hey Coronulus. Welcome Raiders. I know you were here before. I just, uh, I'm slowly catching up. It is difficult at the start of Station Ears to uh, <laughs> concentrate on all the things I need to concentrate on. So apparently now we have to do things like shower. Uh, so that's going to be a fun game mode with Capac. And I believe drinking and things like that are also going to be having a greater impact on my engineer than it did before. All right, I think this should be enough room for me to bring the stuff in. Let's go do that. Turn it off first so I don't annoy people with the sound of it, which I did during the Terraformers series. Well, that's inconvenient. No, don't open the lid. Grab the thing. Thank you. Alright. So I'm interested to find out how well their ideas of making um, the the mood debuffs for the engineer a mild but potentially annoying thing that you want to fix just because you can fix it, uh, but you don't have to fix because it's not strictly a survival goal. Because this is the sort of thing that I always love thinking about in games like this is how this sort of stuff actually ends up affecting gameplay in a positive way. Because I've, I've said a few times that I don't really... Um, I haven't really enjoyed the way most of the daily needs type stuff has been integrated in the past in Space Engineers. Station Ears is a different beast though. So it already had that stuff and is much heavier, much more heavily a survival game as well. So whether it suits this environment so hopefully it'll suit this environment a bit better. Uh, yeah, I guess it still is underground alone. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to be underground here. Oh, my waste tank is going to be a problem.
Thanks, McFeeds. Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Oops. Got distracted before I fully removed that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, get in there. Get in. This is not a Mars start. This is a Venus start. I've never played on Venus before, so it is a learning start. And my thoughts are, at the moment, get the stuff off the pod, get it underground, because Venus has storms, and I am going to be ill-prepared for the storms no matter what. My hope is that by putting these underground like this, I can quickly build a wall across here with a door and start dealing with an inside underground space more quickly that way than if I did otherwise. That's my hope that it works like that, but I don't actually know if that's going to be enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, there it is. Ah. Oh. I threw my wrench on the ground and I didn't realize. Pressed Q instead of E. Swap. <laughs> Temperature high. Oxygen low. Oh. Temperature critical. Yes. Okay. Um. Oxygen critical. Temperature high. Is that better? Internal temperature is now low. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, that's step one. Step two, let's make a bit more space so that I can actually get to all these crates. And then I'll try and build this doorway. Uh, where was I up to? <laughs> Thanks, Papa Tim. Thanks for the 100 bits. And thanks, you unidentified flying cheese. Thank you for the five gift subs as well. Uh, how much space do I need to get around these things? Probably not too much more. This should be enough for the starter. Whoop. Don't want to get hit by that. Alright, what crates have what I don't remember? Iron frames, perfect. Ooh, they've changed the wireframe mode. Interesting. And I managed to dig perfectly on grid. Also, interesting. I'm just going to do this because I'm going to dig it out a little bit more because I'm going to need to have access to these surfaces to build on so that I can uh, put the wiring and stuff down for an airlock. That worries me a little bit. Oh, it's night time. Oh, it doesn't actually get cool on Venus. That's right. The temperature stays high regardless of the time of day. And... Where is Iron Sheet? Arc Welder. So power is going to be a problem because I can't use a regular welder. it would just explode. Oh, what? My power's already... Oh, that's bad. Um, my power's already low on that welder. Portable scrubber, portable air conditioner, credit card, nope. Door. Hit the bat. Door, 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 door. Composite door. Alright. Need 
plastic and glass, I think. Nope. Not in that one. Not in that one. That's all my canned food. Let's move you over this side so you're out of the way. There we go. Got glass sheets. Got plastic sheets. And crowbar says I need welding torch and plastic sheets. Okay. Welding, plastic sheets. No! I've already killed the battery on this. Oh, it's got a tiny battery. No wonder. <laughs> no capac or TFE. This is this must be what's known as easy mode. Uh, not, not really. Um, <laughs> this. This is probably going to be difficult. Okay, we have a door. Now I can try and set up some sort of vent system to get rid of the atmosphere in here. Reduce the pressure a fair bit. That'll help me lower the temperature when I put an air conditioner in here. So... Where are my vents at? We've got... Kit console, kit active vent. I'm going to need... Where's the excess port? There it is. Air tank critical. Okay, thinking through, thinking through, thinking through. Got to be clever about this because I need to get power set up as well. Otherwise this active vent is not going to be able to run and pump stuff out. Yeah, I don't want auto doors just yet because auto doors power cost. And I can manually do the airlock without them. In fact, I should put this in the airlock, not outside it. We'll go, yeah, there. Grab some pipe. Throw a couple of things away that I don't think I'm going to need. To be carrying around. So, Venus atmosphere is hot and dense. I do not recall what's in the atmosphere, but it's not friendly. Oh, I need a frame put down. Okay. Uh, let's weld those up on one level. I can check in a little bit. I'm just trying not to get too distracted from what I'm doing. Uh, because distraction in this stage of Station Ears is probably going to be in death. Thanks, Orb. Thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you, Unidentified Flying Cheese, for the 100 bits as well. Aren't you just supposed to start Venus in the night? I don't know. That seems like it could have been a thing that was meant... Oh, no, you start, you start Vulcan in the night. I don't think Venus matters because Venus is hot day and night. So I don't think it matters so much whether you start day or night time. Yeah, this will be fine. Because I use those doors. I deliberately use the composite doors rather than the glass doors because I think they have a higher pressure tolerance. And pressure tolerances may well become an actual problem here. Ow, poop. Temperature high. I'm going to use up so much... How, uh, so much oxygen just to try and cool my suit early on here. So, 
the main the main challenge here is going to be managing my why am I losing consciousness? What? What? Temperature's fine. Pressure's fine. Oh dear. Water's okay. Food's okay. I think it could be that my lungs got too damaged. And so I couldn't take in oxygen properly anymore. I think that's what happening. What happened there? Oh dear. Yeah, I I, I reckon that's a lung damage death because I did open and empty my waste tank. I think I just did it too slow, took more heat damage to my lungs, and ended up killing myself that way. Ooh. Thanks, Minoc. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. And thanks, Ghost Akos. Thank you for five months. Um... Right, so, yeah, lungs were red already, but I think they got worse in that last little instance. I think me uh, getting hit in the head by my lander was not great. Uh, which means we could be in a death loop. Let's see how this goes. Do you can decompose there. Back to work. All right. I need to get this plugged in first. And then When daylight hits, I should be able to get uh, passive vent set up. Do I have a passive vent? Or am I just going to have to blow, hole, blow a hole in the pipe? I, think I might have to blow a hole in the pipe. Uh, how am I going to increase the chance that that happens outside where I want it to? I have more pipe. Hopefully that means it'll be more likely... It's maybe chance-based, based on how many pieces of pipe. Uh, we want set inward, and we want that on. So as soon as that... Starts going. Where's my battery charger? Let's try and get that set up quickly. Actually, an APC will do. Oh, there it is. Power low. What convenient timing for that to come up. Uh, where is it? Back to these. I'm deliberately attaching this as a place to get a battery charged, not a place to keep the vent running. Uh, we've got solar, so I need to close that door. And hopefully... That sun will start giving enough power for this, but I'm wondering if it actually will be able to. I might have to run this off the APC. Curses. 
Um, let's get this out. Got battery in there. Okay, it's not getting enough power from the sun yet. Okay, that's going to start evacuating this space, which is good. Let's get our tablet and have a look at the atmosphere that's in here. Because I don't think this will be breathable anyway. CO2, pollutant... Oh, it's predominantly CO2, actually. That's not too bad a mix. Alright, I'm just going to evacuate this down to an acceptable pressure. That's my goal. Just see if I can get it down to something that's a little less horrible. Then I'll get the AC up and running. Uh, which was not in there. I need to open this up. Where's my portable AC? Portable air conditioner, there we go. Don't want to start running that until the pressure in here is down because I don't want to have to work on all of that. All of those molecules that I don't have to. I'm going to guess that the vent has run out of power. Nope. Has it burst yet? Oh. Please burst outside. Alright. While I'm waiting for that to burst, I will try and get some iron and copper. Maybe a bit of gold. Thanks, guys. Oh, no, I got that one. The singing of a happy pipe. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now I have time to think for a moment. Uh, Chad, have I done anything especially stupid yet that's easily fixable? Remove some pipe bits and force it to break where I want it to. Uh, yeah, I could do that. If I turn off the vent... Yeah, let's try that. Uh, so it's unhappy, which is good. I want it to be unhappy. So if I remove this bit... Here. And then this bit here. This bit here. Hopefully I am pressurizing those bits. But I don't think I am. I don't think I'm pushing into it. I think I'm just deleting gas. What's the pressure in there? 228 megapascals and it's not blowing. There we go. That's what we wanted. Free passive vent. Now I can turn you back on. I can close the door. And we have a passive vent. Yay! Let's get some coal because I should probably try and get the coal generator set up. That's what I should be doing for power. Not solar. Coal. Coal is the future? <laughs> ah, coal from all the forests on Venus. Yeah. This 
what's being thrown around by the atmosphere is uh, off-putting. Uh, so I obviously don't have the terraformer terraforming mod on uh, because, well, update. So I don't have to worry about polluting the atmosphere more. Much as I would probably actually quite enjoy playing that way again. Uh, not an option. Bit more iron and coal. Yeah, coal is in all sorts of places in Station Ears that it doesn't make sense. Uh... Just, just roll with it. Don't think about it too hard. Just think about it as fuel source. It's uh, hydrocarbon is probably a better way for them to say it, because then you could think of it as like solid methane or something like that. Any sort of hydrocarbon that might be present. That's a little bit of stuff. Let's go and try and build some things. Down to 180-ish, maybe not. So, where is my portable generator? That's what I want to find next. Let's put my iron in here. My full stacks of things. Computer. So this is all like other special stuff. Waste tank caution. Open. Uh, need to load up with more oxygen. Need to protect my lungs better. Bury your corpses. If you die enough in the next few million years, you will become a renewable fuel source. <laughs> uh huh. Portable scrubber. Sensors. Wait, do I not have a portable generator? Surely not. Surely I do. What are they? Solid generator. There we go. No. Oh. Uh. Oh, there's my skull. Gotta keep that. Can't let Shadow have that one. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Let's turn you off. Let's get... That. So don't want to be operating a... Ooh. Just thinking. Ah, oh, this should be fine outside, I think. Hopefully. Does anyone know for sure if this is a bad thing to have outside? Right. Instant response. Very bad. It's fine. <laughs> it is one of those things. It is not both. Great. I'm going to find out for you. Yep. Alright, I'm down for that. That's fine. I can accept that. That was the twin faces of chat in one go. Now, uh, let's grab that, split half, where did that go? Is that going to cook the wire? Am I going to be okay? That'll at least give me a little bit of power into that battery, which was getting depleted. Crowbar the door. 
turn on the vent. Why am I hearing bad noises? Is this door unhappy? Oh, actually, am I down to a, an acceptable pressure in here? I am. All right. Off goes the vent. It did sound like the door opening noise, but it also sounded like a, like it could have been a stress noise. Uh, so let's turn the aircon on. Wait, didn't I put a battery in there? Did I not actually put it in? This is going to struggle to cool me down, but every little bit I get is hopefully an advantage. <sighs> Yep, regular cables on the coal generator. It's it's all I've got, so it's what I'm using. Uh, and unfortunately, I probably should have set up two of these area power controls off the thing, so that I could have gotten the maximum power out of that coal, but it is what it is. Now, I can start building a little bit of a base. I wait for the temperature to drop. Drill. Hope that I don't depressurize this space by mining because I'm really worried that I'll do that when I'm digging around here and then have to redo all of my hard work. Oh, my suit battery's down to 16%. Switch that out. Where is another battery I can quickly use? Oh no! I'm gonna want my arc. Can I? Uh, I don't want to operate my arc furnace in here. It's gonna be bad. Ugh. I'll have to put it outside as well. So I'll try and get the auto lathe up. What do I need for it? You'd think I'd remember this stuff having played the start of this so many times, but no. I don't. Wait, tank, caution. Oh. Open. Right, I really can't afford to leave the waste tank caution going for any length of time whatsoever. Oh, welding torch and plastic chips. Well, it depends how hot is the air that comes out. It's not so much about the heat. It's the fact that if I can get this place cool, it's probably not going to... It's probably not going to significantly damage my lungs. Because it's predominantly CO2. So, my hope is that if I can get this cool without polluting the air inside here. I've got a mostly okay space. But if I start polluting it with the stuff that... the off gases from all of the ores that I smelt, I kind of mean that I have to filter it as well. I don't think I've built this close enough. I think I'm going to run out of cable. Which means I'm going to have to move this. 
No! No! Uh, I mean, eventually, NML, you can degas with a centrifuge, but there's no way I can build a centrifuge before I need to smelt any ores. As a centrifuge is a somewhat later game thing. Do I have another pile of cables in any of these? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. No, arc furnaces don't have a pipeable, have a, an exhaust that can be piped outside. So, an arc furnace, you're stuck with it just gassing into the environment. Alright, I should rearrange this a bit. This is terrible. I've made such a mess this wiring here. That way. Then grab that bit. Grab those. And this makes me happier. Temporarily use the portable scrubber. Yeah, that that is more power I have to consume though. So I'm I'm just I'm trying to plan for the future rather than just you know taking a chance and hoping for the best. <laughs> I'm trying to think of things that might be my undoing later on if I don't consider them now. I do not have a gas welder. No, I have an arc welder. I think you might be right. I think the sound might be getting stuck on for the door. The forcing of the door. Brush it down. And off we go, and open the door, in rushes the air, and the battery's getting charged, so we're not going to run out of power immediately, that's good. Now, I need to make sure I've got the right stuff on me, so I can go outside and I can build the arc furnace, and I can start smelting some of these ores, so then I can start making some things with the auto lathe. <laughs> Thank you so much, to Unidentified Flying Cheese, for the five gift subs. Yeah, Papa Tim, there is an... That pipe that, 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 pipe that is burst is intentional. Because it's an easy way to get a free... Uh, passive... Passive vent, which you don't have access to in the starter crates. So if I burst a pipe... That's a passive vent. It just goes into the atmosphere. It's perfect. Uh, so I, I burst that on purpose. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Okay. So I need to make sure I've got the... don't need the power controller. I need the arc furnace. Which is there. I need to make sure I've got iron sheets. Which I've got on me. So I think that's all I need to... Actually, do I even need that to assemble this? I do not. Just need the arc furnace. Alright, let's go smelt some things so I can get some... I guess I should be shooting for perhaps 
solar panels, like hardened ones, virtually. I'm not sure what I should be aiming for first. Thanks, Minoc. Thank you for the gift sub. Um. I can go there. I should probably be bringing the cable back out rather than it being directly hooked up to things. Let's run that on the bottom instead. I don't know if encasing them in a glass room will work here. The pressure's so high, I don't know if the... Actually, I don't know if the basic glass rooms can handle the acid storm. I, like, I genuinely just don't know. No, that didn't work. Let's just walk around. Okay, uh, let's keep running a little bit of coal through this. Just gonna keep adding little bits over time. And now, you in on. You need stellite glass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wind is my better choice. That's potentially true. I couldn't I couldn't stand by leaving that doom voxel there. I could see myself getting ejected out of my base and clipping my head on that and dying. Okay. Uh, right. What else should I be doing? Smelt some iron, smelt some copper, smelt some gold. They're the first things. Traders, you say? Um, I've not really gotten to trade stage much in station is <laughs> oh no 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 Damage. Grr. Hydration critical. Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna have to open my face soon. That's not what I want. How's the battery looking over here? Yellow. Hey! Oh. Hello. I think they may have fixed an, a little exploit thing. Let's check. Yeah, it's gone back up to high pressure. Or is that just reading the temperature in here? Let's check that. It's with my tablet. Yeah. Haha. -ha. Alright, so we gotta drag this outside in order to degas it. But don't have to actually drag it. Constructed can deconstruct. 
Oh, that's cool. I don't even have to be tempted to use the little cheesy mechanics. Suck out airlock, but vent a small bit of air in there. Yeah. It's probably a decent approach. I wonder if vacuum's worse than the superheated air. See you, Batman. Let's find out. Alright, uh, if I open the waste tank, it shouldn't be as hot. If I open that in here, it's only 129 degrees. Yeah, okay. Unlock. Open. Drink. Drink, 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 drink. Close. Flush. Oh boy. I'm dead it again. <laughs> I'm so gonna die. Again. Let's lock my helmet. Alright, uh, let's get that copper that's outside. That's what I was doing. Because I want to make some... I probably want to try and... Any... I... My usual path of things to do is all over the shop here. I'm struggling to remember my u the like the proper order of things. Having difficulty working out which things are important and which things I can forget. I think I should be working on how to cool that space without using the air conditioner. Because the air conditioner is going to just burn through so much power to try and get it to cool that space. So what could I do to cool it more effectively? Hmm. Robcraft, it might actually be better to vacuum out the whole base and then just fill it with the oxygen. You're right. Maybe I should just do that. How long is that gold going to take? I'm tempted just to wait out here. I'll need to set up the airlock somewhat properly before I do that, I think. Because I don't want to waste any of that oxygen. Okay, we've got the gold. Uh, duh. Okay. I'm going to ditch that back in there. I don't have a hand to carry the gold. So let's put some more power in because that battery is still looking low. The sound of the door going for that long is so, so odd. Eh. Seriously? <laughs> oh, 
I have an idea. I wonder how much pressure I'd get in this space if I just get rid of my jetpack. Because then I could just be filling this with nitrogen instead of with oxygen, which it's just to try and preserve my oxygen supplies because I'm not sure how I'm going to go about getting more of it when there are no ices here. All right, so for... F oh, okay. We'll vacuum it out. We'll leave, let the oxygen out. If I get to a point where I've run out of oxygen, then I'll hopefully have learned some things and be able to come back and figure it out the next time. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose I could build a small little, a little chamber instead of pressurizing this whole space. Power low. Oh dear. Oh no, it's only 50%. Forgot how early it gives you that warning. That's draining. I'm gonna guess I have to trade for water. Is my assumption. So outside is going to be 429 degrees. How am I going to radiate off this heat? Can't get my head around it right now. Ugh. All right, anyway, let's just deal with vacuum in here for the moment. So. Let's first get this airlock automated because having it be a manual thing is going to increase my losses over time. Uh, to do that effectively, I should probably try and make myself a pipe bender so that I can make a proper passive vent for the inside. We'll work on that first. Need to put more coal in. I should probably mine some more as well. I'm going to need to get a station battery up relatively quickly if I'm going to keep running off coal. You can make water from biomass via the H2 combustor. Interesting. Yeah, Chiller, it's a bit chilly this morning. It was 14 degrees when I got up. Not my preferred temperature. I put that door back to front. Ew. <laughs> oh no. The, con the power points, the access points for that door, I think are on the outside. Uh, of course I did. All right, how's the hydraulic pipe bender doing? 50%. Uh, Charity, I think some of the ores might out, might off-gas a little bit of oxygen. 
someone can correct me if I'm wrong there, but I feel like there is at least one that off gases a bit of oxygen. So there might be a potential for capturing some oxygen off that. But basically, what I need to do is find a suitable gas or liquid, well, gas slash liquid, I need to find a suitable chemical that's going to be able to be pressurized outside, which will push it up to a temperature higher than the 429, 434 degrees it is out there allow that heat to dissipate, send it back into my base, let it turn into a gas in here. And when it turns into a gas in here, it'll draw some of the heat out of this place and throw it back outside. So I need a proper heat pump, but I don't know how well I'm going to do making something like that early on. No, do not make another one. Stop. So I'm going to focus on getting my airlock set up. Because <laughs> I know how to do that. And because I know it'll be helpful regardless. I've got heaps of tinned food, so food's not going to be a problem for a long time. Like, I've got a bunch of cans of stuff. So, while my little dude might not be super happy about what I'm eating, I will be able to survive, at least. So I'm not worried about food, and I sh don't think I should be worried about food for some time yet. Uh, drill. Make it a bit easier to get to here. Hope I don't make this into a outdoor space. Jacked the iron out of here. And make a passive vent. Insulated passive vent, passive vent. Just need the one. Which can probably just go on the wall here. I'll do. Put the passive vent up there. Put the active, the other active vent on the inside of the airlock. We get this thing set up. Yeah, I think I think they've intentionally made it so food is a non-issue with the Venus starter kit because there's a lot to do to make food here. Getting a greenhouse set up is quite the challenge, by the looks of things. Okay, we got that set up, then I need to get the console and things. Where is console? Advanced airlock. Sensor. Disk. I'll get the labeler after. Whatever. Console can go up there. Uh, 
And I guess since it can go on the floor for now, because I just can't think of where else I can put it. Or I'm minimizing my cable usage. Oh, oh that's going to get really annoying. That's going to get super annoying. That is not going on the floor. Go over here. All right. I apologize for all of those of you who are going to be annoyed by the cable mismanagement in here, but it is as it is going to be. <laughs> it's going to stay like this for a while. No, ceiling's a problem because I left no room for cables to run up to the ceiling. That's why I didn't put it on the ceiling. Normally I would. Okay, so next up. Crowbar that door. Oh! Fine, just close it then. And... Oh. Open that. Put some extra gas, extra coal in the generator. I should probably go mine some. It's daytime. It's a bit easier to get it now. So I'm going to need more. More coal. The early days of SimCity. What is this, a server room? Worse. It's a splitty airlock. Hey, I got okay at doing airlocks. I even wrote my own scripted one. Can I remember how to do it? No. But I did it. And I remember that I did it. <laughs> yeah, the random ice cube spawning thing was fun. Uh... An odd consequence of things I did to set up the atmosphere. An unexpected one, too. I mean, absolutely, Shadow. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without Nev's help. But I still did it. I still understood the logic and I still wrote a lot of it. Which I felt was an achievement for me. Uh. Alright, let's go back inside. Oh, this is why I need the airlock to be quicker, is then I can deal with my waste tank more easily. Which I can just oh, empty you. Oh. Coal goes in. Oh, uh, now, door. I need to dismantle you. Sheet. There we are. Yeah, I've died already. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's been good. I'm gonna die again soon too. I don't think I'm long for this world. The reason being, I already have lung damage, and I don't see much value in using my pills to try and fix it just yet. Your shot. Turn on. 
I do have a med pill, but like, I know I'm, I don't think even my next clone is likely to survive. So I may as well not use the pill until I'm in a better spot where I might, where that clone actually has a chance of living more than a short time anyway. Yeah, let's get the label maker. Leave it running and buzzing and making people annoyed. So that's what label makers are for. Nope, that is not a label maker. Where's the label maker? Wait. Don't tell me they're like this. Don't tell me I don't have a label maker. <gasps> no. No, that's evil. I have a fire extinguisher. But I don't have a label maker. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> That's going to be really hard to set up an airlock. Uh... I presume it's made at the tool. Yeah, it's going to be the tool thing. Just thought I'd check and make sure it wasn't made at the auto lathe. Ah, poo. That's genuinely going to make this difficult. Yeah, so... How do I know which vent has been... set? Vents will lock. That is locked. Okay. Alright, cool. So we can do it. Nope. Yep. Eh. Ah. Can just be set to 100. Internal. Set to zero. Okay. Oh. Cancel pressurize. Should probably just set the external pressure to like two. how this is set up. Cool. Huh. Have a single press thing to access the base. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's throw some more coal in. Uh, let's put the stack. Just trying to make sure I keep these this battery in here relatively highly charged so that I do have a uh, battery for my suit and because it is the battery operating the airlock. Alright. That was good to learn that I, I don't actually need to be able to label these things for them to work. Because it shows the vent is locked and the door gets the big lock symbol as well when you select it in the console. Nice. Oh dear, Tencho. <laughs> Not sure how many people will even get the Colin McRae reference there. Can you label Furnace McRae later so you can put coal in McRae? Uh, right. What am I doing now? Let's open this. And I gotta think what I need to do next. I 
I need a way... What do I need to do next? I'm so lost right now. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so out of sorts. It's just... This isn't my usual environment. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. I need better power. So that I can operate things more than what I'm currently doing. A base battery requires me to make steel and an electronics printer. So I should probably make an electronics printer anyway. may make some sense. Uh, I can't... There are no ices, so there's no uh, need for an ice crusher. So I need to figure out a way of also getting ice. Next on your priority, just dig through the hole and vent the interior. Yeah, that probably is the next thing that's going to happen. It's not on my priority list, but it's probably going to happen. Oh, I need the iron from here. Degassing gold gives oxygen. Okay. So I probably want to set up a little room where I can put the arc furnace so then I can filter out the gases that I want from it and start bringing them into here rather than having it outside. So maybe another little airlock would be good. That would probably be a, a place to start. Yeah, let's do that as a goal. We'll make a little internal airlock space so I don't have to keep going outside and I can keep... I can then set up some filtering for that. Because if the arc furnace gets destroyed outside, I am dead. There is nothing I can do. Just widen this a little bit further. Although I could probably try and set up... I could probably try and set up some sort of uh, basic proper furnace instead of an arc furnace. That might be a better goal instead. Although I need to figure out how, how I'm going to make things hot. Ugh. How am I going to make things hot? Is there a way I can steal heat? Because I kind of... Maybe I should be thinking a heat pump for the arc furnace. Yeah, how to make things hot on a hot planet, but how do they make things hotter than the hot planet is so it's hot enough to smelt stuff? If I can do a reverse, like a heat pump to draw heat from outside and put it into the furnace, I don't need fuel. Okay. 
This sounds like a fun challenge. I'm going to need to create a safe place to put it. The Venus, at the Venusian atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide primarily. Oh, there's oxygen in here, but if I go outside, I need to put the generator on anyway. Venetian? No, Venetian is Venice. Venusian is v Venus. There you go. 93% CO2, 6.9% nitrogen, and a tiny bit of pollutant. Uh, Alright. More power, please. I do start with a portable aircon, yes. So, just I'm just trying to get my head around when I, whether there's anything out here I should be looking for. No. So in this, in this situation, to try and generate heat, uh, to try and collect heat, I should be pressurizing. I should be drawing in outside air, pressurizing it, using a heat exchanger to transfer that heat to a separate piping system, probably. So that separate pipe has a controlled amount of gas that I can then uh, control pressure better with to then be able to use it as my part of my furnace. And I really shouldn't think while I'm outside, that's a mistake. I feel like, like, I understand the theory behind heat pumps and how it all works. The thing is, I still haven't actually set one up in spa in Station Ears, so... I feel like I'm not able to talk it through as confidently as I might have been able to if I'd already set one up. Right, let's make the airlock for... Furnace room in here. Okay. I can hear my breathing, that's never a good sign. Oh, did I get my electronics printer? I did. Let's turn you off. How oh, is my power situation over here going? Not horrible, not great. Have I got another thing I can steal a battery from for the moment? No. Alright, I should get the battery charger set up. It's not... Uh, my thinking is, if I've got it set up, then I can at least... Give me the direction I want. Why are you being like this? There we go. At least put these little batteries in here, and then when my... Then any excess power, if I overcharge this, will at least have gone into something. Yep. 
Yeah, I am losing health because my food is zero. My thinking is, and this may be a mistake, but my thinking is, if I let my health go down to quite low, then eat. Uh, at least I've opened the helmet as late as, as I possibly could have. Yeah, the portable aircon is not very effective. It appears to have been nerfed dramatically. I don't know how well it works attached to things. I have used it relatively... I used it after the... Uh, was it after the last update or the one before that? I feel like it's been nerfed again since I last used it, where it was attached to something and it was, like, super effective at cooling the room. But also, the portable scrubber was actually more effective than the proper scrubber. It was quicker at emptying, emptying a space. Which is crazy. Okay, those are charged up. That's good. Let's go put more coal in to try and get this charged up because it's only at 34%. Oh no, my mood is dropping. Yes. <laughs> my mood is what I'm worried about. Oh yeah, good point. Set my target pressure a bit lower. Hydration critical. Health low. Okay. I think it might be time for me to open my helmet and take the chance. Uh, let's quickly see if I can vacuum out this place first, though. Maybe the second horrible death. We'll see. I've only got five warnings on my HUD. Surely I can collect more. That's that's the goal, right? It's collect them all. I mean, I guess I could close the door. I was hoping to vacuum out the whole space. But maybe I don't want to wait that long. At least my hydrogen. At least my hygiene is still good. Yep. It's the important things. All right. Here goes. Unlock. Open helmet. Drink. Eight. Close helmet. Flush. Lock helmet. I didn't die! Woo! <sighs> uh, Magic Potato, this will get uploaded to my second YouTube channel, Flipsy. Uh, where all my VODs go. Uh, it won't be edited and put on my main YouTube channel. Okay. Power low. My power is low. Alright, good. Let's switch that out. Since that's high and charged. Those are both charged. Get my arc welder, a battery... 
There's another battery around here that I should just leave on the charger. Alright. Now, weld up this thing so we can start making another airlock. then we can go through the fun of me trying to figure out a phase change heating for a furnace which could also be used as a phase change cooling but it's probably just going to be a phase change heating all right that'll do diggy diggy a little bit I'm actually really excited by the idea of making a completely different type of furnace to what I've ever made before. I've never done one that's just a direct using of heat rather than uh, ignition of gases. That'll be cool. Well, not cool, but you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know that... I don't think I have any seeds, Lenjet. I don't see any seeds here at all. Uh, I have to build a trader to get the seeds, so... Future splitsy problem. Uh... Do I have any more iron sheets? I think I do. Yeah. For some reason I put them away. Paper coil, then it was plastic and arc welder, then it's screwdriver. And we have an electronics printer. Uh, I am sure I want the furnace inside the base. Yes. The reason being that I want to... I think I want to be able to access it more easily. But also, this one's not going to have... The main challenge with this one is going to be managing the heat and the pressure in the piping system, I think. But I basically don't want to have to be going outside. I want to be able to work in an environment that is not going to cook me. So if I can work in this sort of environment, which yes, is very hot right now. In fact, I should probably put the disc back in and keep... Ooh, that, that thing's low. Let's... All right, I'm going to have to go mine some coal. That power's low. Uh, coal? Coal? I need more coal. There we go. That's coal. Uh, suicidal bread. The Terraformers series is dead because the save died. Uh, I put the little comp the, the little composition of all of the crashes that we experienced in the end of the, the episode to show just how bad it had gotten. I'll make sure that I've got at least 50 coal available to me at all times so that I don't end up too dire on power without realizing it. It was really fun for us to play as well. We were all still really enjoying it at the time it started to die and 
uh, keen to play more. I know that, like, I've played a lot of games where once it starts breaking like that, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Uh, Stationers was not at that state for any of us, as far as I could tell, at the time when the save died. We were all still very keen to go on. And I think part of the reason for that was we all knew how hard we were pushing the game beyond what it should have coped with, given the massive transitions the save went through in order to um, do what we did to it. Because we went through the phase change update, that save. Like... <laughs> It, and we did that with a mod that changed the game in a big way. So I think we all expected to have problems. I was surprised it lasted as long as it did, to be honest. Oh, and my battery in. My drill is dead. That's running again. Let's go back in. Eventually I'll need a chute so that I can throw coal in from out here. Oh uh, yeah, the orbital update would have been even <laughs> probably even more of a problem. Uh, the orbital update changed a lot of things. But it, I guess, I guess the other thing for, for something like that save was that Stationers is also a very actively in development game. Now a doors from here. Yes. Oh, I need to go smelt more iron. Dang it, and I just came inside. Back out we go. Ah, that's what I need to do. I need to open my um, waste canister bef just before I go through, just before the airlock cycles. And you're empty. How was my... How are we going? Alright, put more in. Consoles? Consoles, Barnaby? No, I'm a PC player. Uh, and I, I do know what you're talking about. I'm just being facetious. Spent too much time hanging around with Capac. I can't help myself now. Yeah, I'm... The reason I'm working towards the proper furnace is that then I can make a station battery because having a station battery will mean I can store all the power from this thing every time I burn the coal and I'll actually have a decent supply from each bit of coal that I burn at the moment I'm wasting a huge amount of the energy that each bit of coal contains but there's really not much I can do about that until I can get a proper furnace up and running what gases is it putting out from the coal? From the iron? Uh, seems to be mainly pollutant. Well, that could be the gas generator, the solid fuel generator, I'm not sure. Something's outputting pollutant here anyway. One of these two. But yeah, if I can if I can get a minimal if I can get like a CO2 furnace running inside, then I can 
control it. Then I can look at what out gas, what off gases I'm getting from the stuff I put in it, and hopefully get something useful, like oxygen from some of the precious metals. Uh, Corin, as I just mentioned, the terraformer's save is dead. Deaded, deader than dead, dead. Oh, does it say in the F1 menu what it off gases? Gas and liquids. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, pollutant. Ah. Nice. Silver. Nitrogen, nitrous oxide. Iron. Pollutant. And carbon dioxide. Okay. Cool. I'm, that's very handy that that info is there. It died so hard, Black Shadow didn't even get its skull. No, Corrin, the save died. It's impossible for us to record in it. It is... The save is dead. <laughs> Indeed, Tincho, aliens caused the save to die. Uh, in fact, you know, that's that's not technically incorrect. That You could argue that aliens did cause it to die. What is that up there? It's moving. Just a star? Particularly bright? Or is it the weird. Are you almost done? Stop it. You're done. Give me the copper. Cycle to interior. Because when it goes to Mars, where are the aliens? So to me, it makes sense for that aliens killed them. Save. Space gas hallucinations. Yeah, it could be. Swamp gases and um, the moon, something. Isn't that what UFOs are supposed to be? Alright. Plastic. Hold on. I do find it amusing. Oh, what? I used the... Uh, put the wrong door down here. Oh, wrench. Whoops. Wrong tool. Doop -de doop -de doop. Do that again. Okay, now I can make a stair. Because I think. I'm not sure. But I'm a little worried that if I keep digging this way, 
on uh Michelle, I'm just gonna chance it. I'm just gonna chance it. And I'm thirsty. Right. I was thinking that it, I, there's a chance I'm possibly gonna dig out of the underground space I'm in, but I'm actually like a decent way underground, I think. Not a huge amount, but hopefully enough. Falling into that hole is getting annoying. Okay, just don't dig to the right. That's what I'm thinking. And also don't dig to the left. <laughs> Where's that? Where's it at? Nope. 60% now in there. Okay. So, let's have a look at what I need to make. I need to make the furnace, which I don't recall which thing it's made at. There we go, furnace. So we'll make that. Oh, right. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. When I'm drilling in there, I probably should have at least one of these doors shut. But there's actually not much value in that until I've set up an actual airlock. Because <laughs> if I if I do that, I suppose I suppose the advantage is I only bring a single volume of air from outside with me. So there is an advantage, you're right. Uh, right. Let's go back in here. This again. Exterior vent. Turn you on. Keep working towards this getting to be vacuum. Now... How's that furnace coming along? And what weird, wonderful devices am I going to need to figure out how to use in order to get this to have enough heat? So, I need to be able to smelt steel. Which means I need to go F1, steel. So I need to be able to generate a temperature inside the furnace of 900 Kelvin. Health low. I currently have a temp... Whoop. I currently have a temperature of 680. So it's not that far off. But... Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can get it to work. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe it won't take me three years to figure out how to do this. Okay, I need water. Oh, 
oh, I need this to be my... I need to make a water dispenser with this water tank. That's what I need to do soon. Yeah, Space Engineers voxels are never going to be airtight, but it's because they work very differently. Airtightness in Space Engineers is a very rough approximation of airtightness. Very rough. Pressure critical. Low pressure. Cognition low. There we go. I have drunk. Oh, Alex not liking that. Uh, I shouldn't need to flush because it was uh, already pressured. Like it was already um, vacuum. I flushed the last time out of habit, not out of necessity. Yeah, SE doesn't really have air as such. Yes. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Alright, that's made. Let's get the copper out of this. Let's get some cable. And drill out a little bit more space here because that's going to get annoying to pick up. And count the minutes until someone tells me I should build a stacker. Because that's always what happens whenever I build anything in Station Ears. Because I never build stackers until much later on. Much later than many people would like. I like my towers of components that go weirdly bouncy and get flung all over the place. It's fun. Tower low. Uh, that APC should be inside the airlock. What am I doing? goes down. So I think I'll set this up as a proper airlock if I can. I think I should be able to print off all the bits that I need to make it a proper airlock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're out of power. Hopefully resolve that for a little bit. Let's go get some more coal because I'm going to run out again. How's my battery going on that? It's 96%. Cool. It does seem like there's a lot of coal on Venus. I get the impression that they know you're going to need a lot of coal. 
and that it's a uh, it's kind of the main way you're going to be getting power here. Come on, give me more coal. There's another bit. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So. At what point should I... Do you guys think I should look at adding the mod in that gives me uh, multiplied amounts of materials from mining? Because obviously at the moment, I've got a bit of a... Why am I not digging that down? What? Bedrock or something? That's weird. Well, let me dig any deeper. Uh, Soul Reaper, we're on Venus. Uh, more coal. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, the, the lack of coal that I'm getting from the coal does add some extra challenge here, because it does mean it's kind of an encouragement for me to go to another power source. Getting easy coal means that I can probably stick it using coal for a lot longer. Um, so I guess when I've got the battery set up, then it really won't matter to me how much. Would be my thinking. Unless anyone's got a better suggestion than when I have a battery as a waypoint for changing that up. So if I can get to the battery, I'll then switch over to the better mining. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Thought I saw something. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Don't think those are my lights. There we go. Found it. Seventy eight percent. Let's swap those over. More of that coal in. Um, at this stage, I think, um, yeah, I, yeah, the, the mining thing in Station Ears is something that, at least for streams, I almost always change up. Because it's just... It's a slow process. <laughs> it's something I'd rather not spend all the time on stream doing. Okay, what do I need for this? I need a console. And I need... A... Um, so, console. What do I need for the console kit? Iron and gold. We got gold there. Iron there. Um... I want to check. I'm so confused by what's in the crates because I've never played on Venus before, so the the crate equipment is different. Let's close that and get rid of that. It's empty now. Uh, but also, the crate equipment was different for terraformers because we had so many more people. We knew we needed different stuff, so Nev made it so we had more stuff and different stuff. Do not have another one, which means I'm not wasting effort making one. Then need to make an airlock circuit board. I'm gonna go need to, I'm gonna need to go and smelt some more gold.
Yeah, I never play with a 50 times mod. I tend to do two or three times. That's my preferred. I feel like it makes mining not super painful, but also like you still would like to make it easier. Playing single, like playing just for the sake of me learning things and figuring stuff out. I do sometimes add a 50 times mod for that, but generally speaking, it's not my preferred way, which should surprise nobody. All right, inactive vents, which also probably need gold. All right. You've got nothing in you. You've got iron. You've got iron and copper. Okay. Let's go get some gold. It might have had some gold still in there. No, that's copper. Can I see any gold? I see coal. Let's grab that. Mining at night is never a good idea for me. I find it easy enough to get lost without it being completely pitch black. Gold near my base. Hey, jumping. Uh, not going too badly. Just the one death so far, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. And I certainly... I feel like I could... After this one playthrough on Venus, probably learn what I would need to do in order to not die. At all. But... I'd still probably die. I'd still probably stuff up something that I actually needed to not be stuffed up. But the fact that I've only died once so far feels pretty good. Aha, gold. It's mining gold that really makes me want the mining mods. Uh, if anyone's thinking about why I don't use the portable light instead of my suit light, it's because of the flickering that it causes. Uh, it makes... It, the motion is uncomfortable for a lot of people watching, so I don't do it. It doesn't bother me, but it bothers other people, and other people are watching, so that seems like a bad idea. I still need a bit more than this. Uh, a beacon? Beacons use... Wow. Thanks, Maidmaker. Thank you for the sub. Uh, beacons use a lot of power. And power is a bit painful for me right now, so I'm trying to avoid anything that consumes any more than I need to use up. 
So I've just got to kind of hope that I do find my way home. Then that's why I'm not going far from home. More gold. I need more gold. More gold. Give me the gold. 23. Let's start that getting processed. Does it do that sometimes? <laughs> Just do the lightest tap and you sidestep. Jump th several meters. More coal. Burn the coal. Alright. Um... What else am I likely to need? I shouldn't need anything other than the gold, copper, and iron at this stage. Well, there's more surface coal, so let's get that. While I'm waiting for that gold to be processed. How's my tank looking? Alright, I should probably head inside soon anyway. Cobalt has volatiles in it. Ugh. I don't think I want volatiles. I, I am genuinely going to be trying for a uh, more, like not a gas furnace, but a just a an inert gas furnace, I think is maybe how it's described. Rather than a, rather than a combustion furnace. Found a significant supply of gold. Hey Zoriel, thanks so much for 21 months. Great. Have all that trouble finding gold before. Decide to dig some coal and find a nice <laughs> deposit that gives me 30 gold. <laughs> Typical. Wow, what the... Okay, those pressure shifts are brutal. And we've got... Got a good supply of coal, at least. That's possibly going to carry me through until I can get this furnace up and running. Actually, no, that's a, that's a complete lie. This furnace is going to be something I'm going to struggle with. So I apologise to anyone. <laughs> Who knows exactly how this should be done. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting experience for me learning how to do it. And I'm looking forward to it. How's the new update? Um, Honestly, I don't think I've reached any of the new update things yet. Other than my hygiene is now bad. Hygiene decreasing. Suit, helmet, suit or helmet on. Uh, so I'm getting stinky. Uh, okay, let's get gold in. What was I next making? Active vents. This is Venus, because I'd never played on Venus, and I thought Venus might be more interesting uh, to play on than Vulcan. 
Uh, I'm not sure why I thought that, but I had that thought and so just went with it. Turn you off. How is my battery looking in here? Oh yeah, it's okay for the moment. Uh, right. Active vent one. Active vent two. Sensor. And then I just need two passive vents and some pipe. And I'll try and use the portable scrubber as my means of getting gas out of the furnace room to where I want it to be. Hunger like the bad hygiene matter more in multiplayer. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, it might be an interesting challenge as a game designer to figure out how to make it matter more in multiplayer. Like does someone else's stink make you even more angry than your own stink? Or does your stink matter more to you in multiplayer? Because you're embarrassed about it. Both. <laughs> Both would, I guess, be an option. I'm going to chuck this gold in here because I don't really need it to be separate stacked. Add that there, then we've got this all linked up. Hooray! Let's open this thing up. Put one of my teeny tiny batteries in it. Turn it on. And then we'll close it. Right, this goes in. Turn you on. Um, uh, now, these will both be zero. Opposite door, exterior. I'm going to treat, in this instance, exterior as the main pit of the base. So, if I click on that, that is the correct door. If I click on this vent... Uh, that's locked, so that's the correct one. How convenient. There we go. We have an airlock. Uh, yeah, the... The way the hygiene is set up currently in Station Ears with the up new update is that it's all technically optional it's trying to push you towards doing the stuff with your suit off i'm filling up my water bottle uh but it's not forcing you to do it i wonder as they go through doing their survival updates which seems to be what they're working on right now uh how much they're going to change that But we'll see. <laughs> What's killing the mood will be the itches you can't scratch in your suit. Yeah. Yep. That would definitely be a thing. Uh, 
right. That's getting low. Let's go outside and put some more coal in. Yeah, the hard suit makes getting at the itches even more difficult. So apparently it makes your mood even worse. to empty my waste tank. Turn you off. Cycle. Uh, deeper rabbit hole than the space engineers? In some respects, yeah. The way I view space engineers and stationers is kind of that one of them is a... Uh, one of them's a bit of mechanical engineering, that's space engineers, and one of them is very much into chemical engineering, and that is this one. Hey, I'm zero KPA in here. Yes, we're at proper vacuum. Good, I didn't notice that earlier. That's reassuring. Surly splits in, cranky capac, try to survive long enough to fight for the first shower. I feel like the fight would be who's forced to have the first shower in that instance. I'm not sure what they're going to do with the survival update and the other character things. Like... Are they going to make the aliens need hygiene stuff as well? How are they going to make the other aliens kind of even work? Because at the moment, there are the aliens don't... They don't really work as such. Uh, okay. Let's go put this furnace down. And think about what I need to pull heat from outside inside. How am I going to heat exchange to build up heat? Need to get my brain around this. Um, I want to get higher than ambient temperatures from the temperature outside. So... What do I need to do? <laughs> oh, man. I probably want a simple pipe. And... Run that outside and then do most of the heat exchanging outside. I'm going to need... Oh, this is actually going to be really difficult. Until I have... Oh, no, with me being vacuum in here, it won't be as bad because I won't be bleeding off as much heat with the uninsulated pipes because I'm going to have to use uninsulated pipes okay hey Nev uh, the survival's going better than expected because I've only died once So I've got pipe. Uh, the... Wait, can I even build the proper... What are the kits called for the, these things now? Kit phase change device. That needs steel, so I can't build that yet. Pipe kit utility, that's what I want. Uh, 
which has not got what I want. Dang it, they've moved it out of this. No. Ah, what is it under? Hang on. Oh, how am I going to find it? Uh, atmospherics. Air conditioning. Catalytic filters. Canisters. Atmospheric devices. I'm going to need a heat... I presume I'm going to need a heat exchanger to make this system work properly, but I can probably make it make a hacked version before then. Where is it? What is it called? I can't even think of the name, so I can't tell you guys what I'm looking for. Convection radiators? Don't think so. I'm looking for the passive phase change devices. Condensation valves. These things. And expansion valves. That's what I was looking for. Uh, kit. Pipe valve. Oh. It's just a... It's in the pipe valve now. Might have even been there before. I forgot. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was in the other one for some reason. I don't know why I misremembered that. Anyway, uh. So if I want to release heat, perhaps even just into. I don't really want to do it into the air in here. Well, Barnaby, I'm not sure what other options I have other than using phase change to generate the heat. I guess I could attempt to just do pressure changes, but I'm struggling to think of how I can use the pressure changes to... I suppose I could... What I could do is take the atmosphere, put it under pressure... And then use a heat exchanger to move that into a low pressure pipe, which are then put into the furnace. Maybe that's the way to go instead, temporarily. Um... Uh... Yeah, let's let's try that. See how well I can do with that outside. So, hunger critical. Hunger critical. That's fine. In order to do this, I'm going to need to have. Ideally, this would all be with insulated tanks and things. Can I even make a heat exchanger? Yet. Hydration Small critical. direct heat exchanger. No, it needs steel. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, poop. I may have to go phase change. I don't know that I can do a regular just pressurize it and keep the heat. I'm trying to avoid the trader for the now. I know that might be daft, but it's kind of what I'm doing. Because I'd like to... I'd like to see if I can solve this another way. Uh... That's a lot of flashing on my HUD. Okay, so let's think about phase change then, since I can't do this without phase change.
Uh, but while I'm thinking about that, let's get some more power. So, my current hygiene is very bad. I don't know that I'm going to survive long enough because I don't know how many more times I can open my helmet in vacuum. How long does that... Ugh, oh, it's fine. 70%. Let's change those over. Okay. Think, 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 think. Think, 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 think. In order to do phase change, I've only really got CO2. So carbon dioxide. Wait, is it under or is it under CO2? Okay. That's not exactly the most helpful range to work at. <laughs> That's what I've mainly got. Max liquid temperature. Minus 8 degrees. I can't really do phase change with it. There aren't many pollutants in the air, but I may be able to do it. Oh, they need to move these ratio things to the bottom of the search for the Stationpedia. I changed this to Celsius just to help my brain. Uh, max liquid temperature of 425 Kelvin. That's not particularly helpful either. And nitrogen's not going to help either. And that's the remaining component. So, phase change isn't really going to work. <coughs> Excuse me. I might just need to use the room as a heat exchanger. Or a room as a heat exchanger. Um... Yeah, phase change to get it hotter than Venus is uh, tricky. I may have to use a, just a pipe heater and uh, hope that at least I don't have, thanks to Venus, I don't have to do it too much hotter. So at least I can make the pipe heater. All right, I'm out of food and water. Let's at least go drink from uh, this bottle, not that one. And I'm in vacuum here anyway, so here goes.
Nutrition low. Low pressure. There we go. Eating and drinking done. Cognition is stable. Good. So what I'm thinking is, let's set up this... Oh, what I'll do for the furnace is I will just have a pipe leading into it from outside that has the quite hot gas that outside has. And then we'll have a pipe heater on it and see if I can get it hot enough. Yeah, there's no... The trouble with phase change to try and get heat at this sort of level is that I need some clever ways to grab the energy from working at lower temperatures and pushing that energy into something. Uh, but I don't really have a way to do that. My current mood is worse. Uh, which way do I normally like this to be? Is it that way? No. That way? No. That way? No. It might be that way is how I normally have this. And I didn't bring any parts in. Great. How's my power going in the airlock over here? It's okay for now. Got to keep remembering to check that because I can easily get myself in a very bad state if I don't. Okay, I have a furnace. So I really just need an input pipe that goes to outside. That's a lot of pipe. But I don't think making insulated pipe yet is going to be my like is going to be something I can realistically do because I'm going to have to smelt in the arc furnace um, all of the silicon to do that and I think the energy cost of that is going to be so high that it's not really feasible So I'm thinking I just have to see if I can work it without them until I get the furnace up and running. And if I can get it up and running enough to get the steel, then at least I can get the steel and get power. And then I can use that power to then hopefully process more things and open up more options. That's my plan anyway. And I shouldn't lose too much from these pipes here because it's vacuum. Or it should be vacuum, but it's not. So I'm going to have to fix that and make it vacuum. Okay, 
Okay, that's this stretch done. And I need to make a passive vent, which I don't have enough iron for, so I'll just finish this off and make more pipes. Okay. Um, is this all deep or vac vacuum again? Yes. So, what I need to remember in the future is that I don't really want to open up my suit. Unless I've got this door shut as well. And there, are, So there is a reason to empty, like to do things in the airlock instead. Uh, I'll be back in one, just one sec. I need to take a quick bio break. Which I bet my character wishes it could do. Okie dokie, out we go. Oh man, I hope I can make this work. I really do. I suppose I can just put a pipe cowl on the end of that and that'll work. Let's get some more iron and get it smelted. Put some coal in. Uh, yeah, Tincho, that that should work. If you compress a hot gas, thereby potentially making it even hotter because it's compressed, uh, it you could then heat exchange that to another thing. The trouble is, heat exchanges <laughs> require steel, so I need a way to get some steel first. And then I can use that method to exchange heat for the furnace. And that's kind of what I was thinking of doing, was like basically pressurize a gas steal the heat into another gas that's under lower pressure, then the initial gas's pre temperature should drop. I can then pressurize it some more, pump some more heat, transfer it across. Because I can't um, smelt under those super high pressures, so I need to be able to have the high temperature in a lower pressure uh, gas. Oh, do we not get... Does stationers not do increased pressure with increased... Uh, sorry, increased temperature with increased pressure? I thought it did.
Only during phase change. Oh. Okay, so no, it's not something I can do. Well, that sucks. So that's not an option. How's the battery in here looking? Oh, green. Let's switch. Switch and put more coal in. Uh, somehow. Drop you on the ground. And let's go inside. Okay, let's get a... Hello, Charlie. Let's get a... What's it called again? Um, uh, cow. Pipe cow. Go outside, put that down, and then I can figure out the rest of the things I need. Oh, uh, Charlie's, Charlie's been here the whole time. Uh, it was cold enough this morning that she was very keen to get out of her sh her crate and come into the shed. Uh, also, because my partner was up early this morning to go to a course, uh, and she could hear that there was movement in the house. Uh, Charlie is a many kind of dog dog. She is a mutt from a rescue. So I don't really know what she is. We've got some assumptions, but we don't really know. Probably mostly Great Dane and Irish Wolfhound. I mean, that is true, Dwarf. She is 90% horse. There is that. So, valve. No, not that way around. That is not how I thought that was going to be placed. That's how I want it. Where's my input? Yep, oh, nope. Oh, let me place it there. Come on, don't be like this. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. Cool. So that's connected. I can probably almost smelt gold right now. In fact, can I? What's, what's gold need? Three hundred and seventy three Kelvin. No, wait. Is that what I need? Why am I? Oh no, I need gold ingot. What am I looking at? Gold ore. Gold ingot. I need 600 Kelvin. Uh, I might be able to actually smelt gold. Nope. There's no gas in there. Because that's not open.
I have gold. <laughs> nope. What? Or oh, what? Why oh, are you like this? Oh, 424 Kelvin. It's only 424? What? Why is this cooled down? 464 degrees. 464 degrees. See? Why is the furnace... What? The off gas cooled it, you think? Yeah, nope, don't open. No, it's not going above 151 degrees. Huh. Weird. Weird. Why oh, you be like this? Cooling unlocked, yeah. Um... All pollutant. I thought gold was meant to give me not all bad stuff. No. Uh, let's connect them together and see what happens. Stop falling down. Four twenty nine Kelvin, four thirty, four thirty one. The input won't let gas in unless it's higher pressure than the what's in the furnace, but the output will allow it. Right. I think we're going to need some active pumping and moving of air in here rather than just a valve as well. Oh, what pressure do I need? 100 kPa, so I've got enough pressure. This should be exchanging through the cowl, I would have thought. Maybe it's just slow because the volumes of the pipe are so low. It's only getting up to 160 degrees. There you go. Um, what happens if you hit the ignite button? Just to see if it starts processing things. Yeah, nothing. What am I missing here? Uh, the update added survival stuff like hygiene and things. No, the the button does not need power to work. The basic furnace does not need power unless that's changed. But I've never attached it to power in the past at all. Um, is it radiating the heat away? I didn't think it'd be that quick. All right, let's go make it some tanks and stuff and actually push some gases around rather than just passively moving them. Kit tank needs steel. 
But if I use the pipe, uh, is it the utility pipe ones, maybe I can get a bit of gas to push in there. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Jeez. Uh I sort of have tried turning it off and back on again. Um, by spamming that button is the closest I've got to that in this situation. So if I get a couple of these, then I need a pump. Volume pump. Let's try this. So what I'm thinking is I will use the volume pump to push some gas into this canister. Oh, I need more pipes or I'd go back in. An active vent would require me venting the gases into that space and I want to keep it as a vacuum for as long as I can. Um, so I want to avoid doing that. Bad mood increases hunger attrition and slows building and walking speed. Ah, cool. I did s read some of this, but I it was while I was... Um, just before I went to sleep last night, so I've clearly forgotten all the things. <laughs> Not to be mean, but can you hurry up and die so your guy stops sounding creepy? <laughs> uh, Chuck. Uh, that's, that's a, I, I don't think that's something I'm going to try and do. Okay, so let's get another valve because I think I need more anyway. Alright, let's break this down and make it better. So I want to have an inline tank which is not directly attached to the furnace, I think. Actually, I'm going to pull that up. i got to... There's too many things to think through here. Pop that out, pop that out. Then we have that there with volume pump. That way, yep. The volume pump's going to pump into that. I'm going to put a valve in here. So I can control it, because this thing doesn't have a valve, so that at least I can make sure I pressurize that. Then I'm going to disconnect these from each other. Although, I, maybe I do have a valve before that bit? Oh, whatever. Too many valves is not usually a problem. <laughs> in, in my experience. I do have one of valve here. Well there, then this goes to outside.
Do, 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 do. Get rid of this. From there. And then that goes there. There are probably multiple unnecessary parts here, but my thinking is, now that I've built it, I can walk you through. If I pump into this tank until it gets relatively full, it should hold enough volume to push through into here. Then, I can make sure that that's not got anything but what's... Like, that I don't have to pull any cool gas in, because this can all equalize. Hopefully, that means I can pressurize this enough that it actually starts to cook the gold. Maybe. That was my thinking anyway. We'll see how wrong I am. Oh, I need to mine that out. Can't see where that cable is. Man, I'm going to have to do the evil thing. Because I can't be bothered not right now. And I'm going to power this off the airlock. Bad splitty. You're probably going to regret that later. Okay. That's a thing. I've done a thing. Now, what does it tell me is inside the furnace? Inside the furnace is a bit of O2, which I would probably want to capture, but I can't at the moment. It's going to require more parts, but I'll eventually want to capture that. But I've got some O2 in there, so we've definitely off-gassed from the gold a little bit. Temperature is only 258 degrees Celsius. So, let's grab our pump. Get some gas into this until we get up to a decent pressure. How hot, how much, oh, I've got to go as high as I like. All right. Uh, there's no ices on Venus because they would have all evaporated, so I have to find other ways of getting to the gases, which is why I'm trying to come up with a different way of uh, generating enough heat in the furnace than what I would normally do. Um... Up to 500 kilopascals. We just got that tiny bit of O2 in there. If I can't figure out how to get more water, I die. Uh, which is nearing but I do have a way to at least get water from a larger tank. So there is a larger source that I have access to. I just haven't set it up yet. Uh, I'll probably have to do that if I... Once I've done this bit. Alright, let's see if that's enough. So if I open up this valve... The temperature is rising! Oh, we're almost at 600 Kelvin. But not quite. All right, I don't really need you. I can just look at that. 591 Kelvin. Ah! <laughs> so close. Uh, I'm just going to turn that on. Run and check my power situation. Uh, 
which is dire. So let's go fix that. While I can. No skulls for Shadow. She's not getting my skull. I do have one skull that's outside of my head, but Shadow's not getting it. Too bad. Yes, I'm so mean to keep my skull to myself, Shadow. <laughs> uh, do I want to stay here so I can put more fuel in the furnace? kind of do. Also should be out there mining for some more, but I'm so close. How much more fuel have I got in there? 14. Alright, that's going to take a while. I'm going back in. Uh, Barnaby, it's a very slowly pressurizing system, so I figure I had enough time to do, to pop out and pop back in. Uh, it's very slow because there's not a lot of volume in this pipe, so it takes a while for it to get this up to pressure. Like, we're only at 1.45 megapascals, like it's not much yet. Let's open this up again. We're at 600 Kelvin, and we have ingots of gold! Huzzah! I can smelt gold! Without using a lot of power, except I used the power for that, so, you know, uh, probably works out okay. Maybe. Um, right. Next thing to do will be to pressurize this again, move that valve, put in the pipe heater, and see how hot I can get the gas inside that tank. And see if I can get it hot enough to smelt steel. That's the next step. Hydration critical. Okay. Hydration is what I need to fix now. So for that, I need a bottle filler. Up here. Kit water bottle filler. Needs silicon. Okay. I'm going to have to mine some silicon and smelt it. Let's pop that coal in there. Let's go find some silicon. Silicon. That is cobalt. That might be silicon. Yeah. Um. Demon works. I've never seen anyone. I've never watched anyone do uh, Venus. I've never looked at Venus really before. Just before this stream, where I was like, you know what? Vulcan's one thing. Venus, that's a whole different kettle of fish. Let's try that. Everyone talks about with Vulcan how you kind of have to wait out the night. Uh, sorry, wait out the day. And I, I don't like the idea of having to just wait around. I'd like to try and have things I can do. And I figured, well, Venus forces you to do more. Oh, that's more silicon. Venus forces you to do things at any time because it's bad no matter what. So you can't just be like, it's too hot outside, I'm not going out just yet. I'm going to wait till it cools down. But it doesn't. I'll get this silicon in.
No one in their right mind would do Venus, that's why I split tears here. Yeah. That checks out. Uh, coal, coal, coal. Coal, 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 coal. Where is some coal? Is there coal in one of these holes? There's gold there. Here's coal. Yes. True, you can wait out the day on Venus. It just doesn't give you any advantage, so why would you? This is a decent bit of gold uh, coal here. another full stack out of it so far. Oh, more coal. Come me more coal. I need to go make my water thingy. I can refill the bottles. Means I also need a tank stand for a liquid thing. Whoa! Still surprising when I managed to eject myself out of my mines. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want power. I cannot for the life of me think of a better way to do it. I probably could have made solar panels by now because I haven't actually seen the storm yet. And I probably could have gotten a decent amount of power out of them. But making any decent ones is need, needs the steel, so it's debatable. Uh, do they break Venus storms again? Um, maybe? I haven't seen a storm. That doesn't mean there hasn't been one. Because I've been in a vacuum inside, so it's possible that it just... I didn't see it. Yeah, that's charged up. Can't wait for Splitzy to get launched like that during the night and then he won't know where he is. Oh, that's bad. That could definitely happen. Hunger, caution. That could absolutely happen. Uh, now, liquid... Is the tank stand any different to the regular, like for liquids versus not? Is it just a variant? What is it called anyway? Uh, the thing that I have to attach the water tank to so that it can be connected up to pipes. What are they called? Portables connector, there we go. There we go. Water pipe. Into, where is it? 
Did I pick it up? Apparently I did not. Bottle filler. That's going to be upside down forever. Actually, can I fix that? Without having to do lots of piping? Yes. Good. Oh, that's in the wall. Is that going to make this go bad if I try and attach it? Let's find out. Save. <laughs> and connect. No, nah, it's fine. Good, good. Shadow, did you really think I was going to be comfortable leaving that there like that? I joke about it, but I do actually find stuff like that annoying as well. Yes, you did. Okay. Okay. And it really does think I'm evil. Uh, let's go smelt some copper. Freeze tank caution. Freeze tank caution. Hasn't taken any damage. So there mustn't have been a storm yet. Uh, let's cycle. What is the steel situation? The steel situation is that I am currently trying to sort out my water situation. <laughs> and as soon as I've got my water situation sorted out, I will then sort out my steel situation. Uh, or attempt to. I'm close. I think I'm genuinely close to having a real crack at the steel side of things. Just need to be able to fill up my water bottle so that I can drink. Split that. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're smelting. It's going to take a while. It's going to use up a bit of power. So what temperature do I need to reach for steel? I need to reach 900 Kelvin. Four, okay. Should be something I can do. Uh, I believe, Flying Cheese, that the water fountain needs me to take my helmet off. Uh, so I'm not sure how well I'd do with that. So I, I would prefer to stick with the the known method for the moment, uh, but hopefully the getting of steel, if I can manage that, will put me in a position where I can actually start making meaningful progress towards, you know, more things around the base. The steel is a big bottleneck. As if I can get steel, I can get a bigger battery on the base, which means I can use the coal to produce more power, have more stable power. I can then use that to build various things inside the base that, and use steel to make better systems for heating up the furnace. And so that's the main goal right now, is get that steel so I can get the first bit of it done and then go from there. Now, copper I needed for wire...
Let's leave those going for a little bit while we get this sorted. Yeah, one of the things I do like in Station is about <laughs> uh, learning new parts solo is that you I don't have, especially playing with Kapak, especially playing with him, I don't have him going and complaining about all sorts of new things constantly while I'm actually just trying to focus on getting one of the problems solved. Because I'd like to just get one of the problems solved at least. Alright, that should be enough for now. Uh, I've got the pipe heater, so I should have all the parts I need. I am very thirsty, so let's fill up one of these water bottles. I should break, bring both. Fill these up. And then I will drink, eat, and probably die. Into the airlock I go. Put in the disc so I can mess with the airlock. Interior door. Exterior vent. Close the door. Turn on the vent. Unlock. Open. Pressure eat. Critical. Drink. Come on, I wish the drinking was so much faster! Cognition low. Close. Low pressure. Okay. Done. All right, I'm not dying, so maybe I'll survive just a little bit longer. Okay. So what I need to do here is move this valve. I might put it here. Move an in valve and an out valve. Then, no, oh, actually, uh, I'm going to pull that out of there, remove that, then put it back in. Yeah. Then I want to put the pipe heater in. Oh, which needs actually pipe there. So let's put the pipe in. So we have a pipe heater now, uh, which I cannot turn on. That's annoying. Where's the on switch for this thing? Oh, kidding me. Is that giving me the switch on the right side? Nope. That one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cable. And cable. That should be able to pump in. And then I can, as this is going, I'm going to turn that on. We'll see how quickly we can get this temperature up. Or even if we can. So I'm not convinced this is going to work well enough. Oh no! Temperatures... Temperatures going up. Five hundred Celsius. So I need nine hundred Kelvins. That's... Uh, like six... We probably want to get six hundred fifty... Celsius to smelt the steel. All right, let's turn this off. Turn that off. What's our pressure in there? One megapascal. Cool. I need to go and mine the materials to make the steel.
Yeah, I want to go. I, I want to go considerably above the minimum temperature before I put the gas in because the off-gassing will drop the temperature back down and the temperature goes into the steel. So that will also drop the temperature back down. So I, I need to get it up and then get it down again. Uh, up to high enough that when it drops, it's still got room to move. Uh, I'll be back in just one second. Okay, I've got enough room in my inventory, but I can probably drop a few more things before I go out and mine. Because ideally, I should try and make it so that I've got enough stuff that I could end up with, say... Um, two stacks of steel being smelted at once. And I have killed the power in there, so let's grab that battery. Pull that out. Put that battery in there. Let's get some coal smell, coal burning. So, find coal probably going to be the main bit here. So I need to get enough coal that I can use the power. And I, the iron is everywhere, so it's easy to find. And as I said earlier, once I've got the steel... Oh, I thought I saw a bit of coal sticking out. I did. Once I've got the steel, I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, poo. I'm going to look at... Um, Adding the mod for letting me have more ores from each bit of mining. So I feel like I've gone through the, the hard bit that makes me feel like I've achieved. <laughs> Thanks, Big Unger. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh no, there's more coal. Give me more coal. I don't want copper. I want coal. There'd be more here. No, no. All right, so I need to have 150 iron and 50 coal just for the steel. And I guess I'll have to just accept that 200 is going to be enough, I think. Just because the time to mine a yet another 50 coal is probably going to be too long. I kind of just assumed that someone had made another ore mod by now. So I figured I could probably find one that works. I assume there's one that works out there, surely. Because the rocket update was a while ago, yeah. Oh, is it just a difficulty setting now? Is it? For the ore yield? Is that something I should have changed before I started? Have I stuffed myself up? Uh-oh. 
that's the case, that's not good. <laughs> it's potentially very bad. So we've got stuff for steel there. You can change the difficulty afterwards, worst case by editing you save. Okay, cool. Thanks, Neff. Yeah, Nev, I that I did just leave it all on normal. So I and I would yeah, want something that gives a multiplier without giving it a 50 stack, a full stack per thing. It's never I never quite unless I was trying to effectively play almost creative mode, the full stack per thing always felt even overpowered given you're already modding it. it just felt a bit too much to me. It kind of removed the mining loop from the game entirely to me. Okay. If I do manage to get enough coal here, I will attempt to make two stacks of steel. But I may not have enough power. Oh man, definitely want the uh, better drill when I can get it. Oh, and to stop face planting the wall. <laughs> That's all gold. I'll need gold later, but I don't need it right now. I just need the coal. Make sure I go back home before it gets dark, because I'm not going to be able to see my home from here, I think. Hundred and thirty-six coal. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, Shadow, I think I think five times is a pretty decent balance point for most people to not have to spend all day mining, but equally not get the full stack per thing, so you do still have to do some mining. And you have to think about what you're doing while mining. I think it's especially like and times ten is probably not too bad for learning as well. I just, especially from a content creation point of view, but I think even just a regular gameplay, I do feel like the resources are a little, little too restricted. Uh, new game today, Neil? Yes? On Venus. Okay, I have got... Uh, where's home? Home is that way. Uh, still want more coal if I can get it. Let's see if any shows up in amongst this iron. So I sort of... I've got 70 if I make two stacks of steel. Probably okay. See if I can get enough iron quickly to make two stacks. Oh dear. Okay, I've got to go back. I gotta go back. Oh, I'm so close. Come on, give me the last bit. 
33. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shadow, good advice. Sound advice. Don't put your backpack full of volatiles and oxides into the furnace at once. Can be problematic. That's a 37, so let's chuck some coal in. And inside we go. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I am attempting to make the steel now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, my food and stuff is fine. Let's give it a go. Let's see how this uh, ends up. So, contents in here. 641 Kelvin, 589 kilopascals. Let's empty this out. Always autosave is uh doesn't this keep a sequence of autosaves just like Space Engineers does? I thought it kept a like a collection of them. Yeah. So you don't need to worry too much about when the autosave happens, you just go back to a yet another previous one. Although I wonder if I've still got the autosave in this set up how we did for the last attempted recording of Terraformers, where I had the autosave going every 90 seconds. Um, because we really didn't have another way to do it. We had to have it going that often because we had to roll back that often, and if we didn't have it that often, it was constant redos of five minutes of work. Well, Nev, it was, it was a desperation maneuver. I can understand why it's not something you want to be doing. But it, I felt like it was the right thing for us to do at the time. Okay, let's heat this up. Let's get this hot. Thanks, Miralath. Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, the game was already imploding. What's the worst that could happen? Thanks, Twipped. Thank you for the four months. I think I missed that before. Apologies. Right, can I get the components in while I'm still disconnected from it? 550 Celsius. Yes, I can. Excellent. Oh, no, I do not want to put 46 in there. What? How many is in there? 100. Why did that say 46? What am I mousing over? Weird. Uh, <laughs> you you can't fault the devs for what was going wrong with our game. Ours was heavily modded and... Yeah. <laughs> the Stationers devs, I think... For what this game does... I think it's pretty... Pretty freaking impressive. And for how niche it is as well. Uh, 
All right, one more coal. And everything is in. And how hot have we got? We have got 600... Oh. We are out of power. That's a problem. It's already cooling down too fast for me to use it, isn't it? But I'm going to use it anyway and see if I can get some of the gases removed. Hmm. Do you think the game's keeping track of the off gases in that if I now open this up and empty it out, am I going to have less to remove next time? Guess we'll find out. I need a crowbar. I'm going to need the battery from something. Let's use the battery from my grinder. That's going to take a while to drain out. I'm just going to leave it. Do, 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 do. Let's chuck that coal in. All of it. And hope for the best. I don't have to call you live, but we'll have to leave as I am technically still at work. <laughs> uh, okay. Hopefully that coal is going to burn long enough for me to get this done. So, gases go in. Gases get hot. Six hundred five degrees. It's down to one megapascal. Still going down. Well, let's see if we can get this hot enough. I really hope so. Yeah, the, the atmosphere condensing to solid uh, was amusing, but probably something we should have uh, corrected at a atmospheric, like changed the nature of our atmosphere. But I thought it was so interesting that I kind of wanted to leave it in. But we probably should have, with that save, changed it so that we didn't. Uh, might not have been my best decision. Okay, that's... 1.8 megapascals, that's probably going to be enough, so let's turn you off. Let's get this hotter. Probably need to get this almost up to 700 degrees, given how much off gas is going to come from all that iron in there, and the coal. Yeah, never I yeah. <laughs> one thing one thing I should make clear is 
Uh, the issues with the save are not a critique on the terraforming mod. The terraforming mod is an awesome, awesome concept for Station Ears, and one that I think... I reckon there's a decent chance that... Um, that Dean would want it implemented as a vanilla thing, even. Because it is such a nice goal to have. But they'd probably be able to then make a planet that's better suited to it and having that as a goal than the weird Mars that I created <laughs> that did all sorts of strange things. Yeah, I think terraform a terraforming scenario would be a fairly solid DLC option. Alright. Once this hits 700 degrees Celsius, I'm pumping the gas in and hoping for the best. Alright, here goes. Off, and... Open, and... Temperature, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. What's our Kelvin mark? 900. 600. Don't think we're getting there. Dang it. Now... Is there gas exchange between the furnace? I think there is. So if I keep the heater going, is that going to keep heating this up? Airtime critical. Slowly. All right. Let's get out of here. Leave that running. Let's go get some more coal. Guarantee I'm going to get close to running out of power soon. I didn't go for insulated pipes because of the time it would take to make all of the silicon needed. And the power that would require as well. Uh, it was a... It was a conscious decision because I'm also in vacuum so the radiate... Like, the losses aren't as bad as they would be. Probably go and put this in the generator before I get too far into the mine. It seems like this is mostly copper anyway. So let's go back. Keep that power going and see if hopefully. Oh, grab that coal. Yeah, I think that's all that anyway. All this. Ah! Deposit. Power critical. Oh, 10%. Yeesh. Oh, that was almost dead too. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to get spicy. Just to know there's some coal just around here to the left. I think my goal, once I have my power situation a little more resilient, will be get the heavy miner. Heavy mining drill. It does speed things up a lot. Uh, 
Uh, that's 42%, that's better. How much more coal is in here? Yep, Let's stack that on. Let's turn that on and I'm going inside and hoping that that steel is ready to come out. Come on, please, please let this work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How hot are we? 634 Kelvin. Wait, what? A thousand degrees? Why is that not going in? It's open. Pressure differential too low. Thanks, Jeez. Thank you for the hundred bits. See you later. Uh, let's close that again and open that and see if I can get this high enough. Temperature 640. Arg! It's not working! Pressure differential is too low. Alright, keep heating that up. Uh, if I turn the pump on, I'm going to add gas to this system, which will make it cool down, which I can probably do a little bit of, but I don't want to do too much. And there's no pump on the furnace to empty it out more quickly. I have to passively empty it. Uh, 900 Celsius. Let's stop that. Where are you at? You're at... Oh, you're almost down. Come on. Please work. Come on. Need 900 Kelvin. I'm struggling to even hit 700. Oof. Oh boy. Okay. Let's close that off. Let's get a lot more volume in here and heat it up. I think I slightly uh, may have caused myself this problem by trying to get too much steel made at once. All right, let's go back out and sort out the power situation because that's going to be an issue shortly with those two both running. Uh, yeah. Well, that's fully charged. Nice. Yes, the generator is still running. There's coal here. Let's see if there's more deeper. Oh no. I'll just do that. I just gotta do this. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dum Dum. Uh, glad you're enjoying the scrapyard stuff. I'm very much enjoying the way the server's been going so far. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure Nev can say the same because he's uh, been watching the performance on the server and it's been uh, it's been iffy at times. Dropping down to fairly low sim speeds. 
hopefully it can hold out. Until we've all had all the fun we can get from it. Just gotta limit it to two people at a time, it'll be fine. <laughs> Why isn't this mining the voxels? It's so annoying when it does that sometimes. Keep digging. Give me all the coal. It does feel like there's a lot of coal here on Venus. Uh, compared to what I remember there being on Mars. But maybe it's because I'm actively looking for it and have been the whole way that I'm paying more attention and seeing more of it. Uh, yeah, this week's episode, there's more than one random guy. There are a few random people. So as I said at the end of the last episode, we're going on a scouting mission. i got to figure out when I'm going to get the rest of the edit done because it was Toby's birthday this week and I need to make him a cake today for his birthday party on Sunday and uh, obviously his birthday party on Sunday means I'm not going to have much time over the weekend to edit and I've, I'll be looking after him all day tomorrow because my partner's at a course this weekend. So I think I'm going to be staying up late to finish the edits. Okay, that looks to be all the coal that's here at the moment. Let's get out of here. Generator open, yes. Chuck more in. Any special cake or design? Uh, I am planning to make him a dinosaur themed chocolate cake. Thanks Gilbert, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, so my my aim is to make a a round layer cake with frosting and stuff between the layers and then from on that do decorations that look like little dinosaurs. 2.2 megapascals and only 682 celsius. I think I want to leave this running for a bit longer yet. I will definitely be taking pictures and sharing them on the Discord, don't you worry. Assuming I don't com make a complete mess of it and make a terrible looking cake. <laughs> But I have to make... I'm going to be making this cake twice. Because he's having a family birthday this weekend. And then next weekend... Uh, friends of the parents' birthday party. So at least I'm getting a good bit of practice in. Because each year I plan to... Probably make a more and more elaborate cake for him. Because I, I do enjoy baking... Uh, all right. So thinking through, think this through. What did I, does anyone remember what the pressure was inside this little pipe network before I tried the last attempt at smelting? So I'm struggling to remember. 1.2 megapascals, all right. Mix in some candy bones in the frosting layers. Uh, maybe when he's a bit older I could do something like that. At the moment we probably don't want to put small choking hazards in the middle of the cake. <laughs> um, as he currently only has front teeth. So things like that are a bit of a choking hazard. In a 
pinch, you can put the... Oh, maybe I should make a second pump to force the hot gas into the furnace. That's a good idea. Like, I think just adding an extra pump in would be helpful. Then I can get rid of the... Um, the thing, yeah. Also, you shouldn't be on. You're wasting power. Oh, I need to make new filters soon. Uh, so, if I get rid of the... Do I get rid of this valve and just put the pump in? I think I probably should. So then at least I can overpressurize it a bit. And we can actually get some decent push through. Eh. Be nice when I can have an advanced furnace. Also, I should really put a bit of floor in there. It's silly that I have not done that yet. Try and make it a bit easier to stand here. And how, <clears throat> how many pieces of cable am I going to be short? Oh, no, I should have enough. Yay! Have one extra piece. So, 10 litres. That's pretty slow, but... Oh no, I've run out of power again. Okay, I've really got to exchange these batteries that I'm using as emergency batteries. Also, I really do need to disconnect the um, airlock from the power setup that I have there. Come on, get me inside. Go, go, coal power! Um, I don't know that explosions do much damage to voxel. Does anyone know? <coughs> if you explode a, ver a furnace, do you actually get voxel deformations? Or does it only work if you, um... Yeah, can you only mine it out? Depends on the size of the explosion. Okay, cool. I really haven't exploded all that much stuff. I guess it turns out. Where are we at? We're at 5.4 megapascals. Alright, we're going to call it there. Stop pumping. Let's start getting this hot. 650 Celsius. So we are above the temperature needed for steel. However, I'm very concerned that it will not be enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I think we want to go well above. Yeah, we exploded stuff in terraformers, but I don't remember us making any damage to the voxels. I just remember it deleting part of our base. 
That's going to take a while. And I can leave the heating going for ages. So let's go out and get more coal while that's running. Now I'm going to switch that battery out so that I'm getting these batteries replaced. I'm going to need to eat and drink. Let's grab a water bottle. And a food. Let's get in the airlock and sort this out. Close the door. Turn on the vent. Open the helmet. Eat. Drink. Close. Oops, not what I meant to do. There we go. Aha! Survived another opening. Did the air tank explosion do damage? Huh. I guess I just didn't know how much of our base had been excavated underneath my capac, so I just wasn't sure <laughs> what voxels had changed anyway. Let's go get some coal. Keep that power coming. That felt like it went grey for a second there. I was getting very worried. Uh, before I mine the next bit, let's just see if the furnace is still running. Oh, just ended. Timing. battery in here is it charged or is it empty it's charged switch it over i am so looking forward to <laughs> giving myself the better resources which will probably be for the next stream to be honest Which is surprising. I was kind of expecting it would take me even longer to get this much done. Although I am counting my chickens before they hatch because I have not, I still have not made steel. Ah, poo. Battery is dead. doing? Is there anything else I should be doing right now? I do need this coal. Uh, I do... Yeah, I, th I think I'm doing the right thing. I think I'm doing this right. Hopefully that pipe heater will actually get the temperature of that gas hot enough. If I just keep it being out here produce getting the stuff I need to produce more power. Yeah, look, it's it's the station ears version of Venus. <laughs> it's not gonna be We there's there's zero chance of survival on the real one. Uh, Takari, you're putting the cart above, uh, 
cart before the horse there. I don't have the steel to make a station battery, so there's no point putting down a... Uh, spending resources I don't have on solar when I need when I'm trying to get the steel. Or maybe I'm putting the cart before the horse. I don't know. One of those is not the right order of things. <laughs> I'm quite close to getting steel, I think. So I'm much better off doing the things the way that I am doing them, I think. And continuing that way so that then once I have the steel, I can put the station battery down. The coal that I use actually will gener will have most of its power stored. And I can therefore use less coal to produce power and start building up stuff so I can put solar panels out. But the trouble is with Venus, if the storms are actually functioning, which is a big if because it doesn't seem like they are, um, then I need to have the super hardened solar panels for them to survive outside. This is Venus. Why are all these carts and the horses lying around dead? Yeah, Sizen. Uh, I don't see any more coal down here. Okay. Uh, is that still running? I don't think so because I can't hear it. What's the battery looking like? It's dead. Everything's dead. They're all dead, Dave. Alright, fine. Let's put another 43 in. Let's see what temperature we're at. And I might just have to give it a go. Because I'm running out of easy to access coal. Yeah, test unit. That broken pipe is called a passive vent. <laughs> it was deliberate. Yeah, it's a fancy sharp vent that can cut your hands. How hot are we? 772. Oh, six megapascals. Oh, it's like 150 degrees above the target. Uh, Nicole, there are aspects of this that are more in-depth than Space Engineers, uh, but it doesn't have the mechanics, the like the mechanical stuff that Space Engineers has. So it... And I don't think it really can have it because of the way they have to do the atmospherics. So I kind of, I flip between the two games as depending on what I feel like uh, trying to get my head around. Um, right. I think, I think I've got to just give this a go. I think I'm using up too much. Too much power, I'm trying to do this much more. I feel like I have to. I'm kind of just gonna wait for, maybe wait for 800 degrees Celsius. Uh, power is still coming in. How much more is going? 12. All right, let's split the stack. Add that in there. And I'll just run off that. 
I'll make sure I don't run out of power. Quickly charge up that while I'm here. I'll do. 56 is enough. Yeah, Space Engineers is Newtonian Physics and this is Thermodynamics. They do different things. I think that's a good way of looking at it. They're achieving different things, so they're not really... They're not... They're not easily comparable in terms of complexity. Yeah, you have to do all the wiring and stuff in this, which adds some procedural complexity, but it's not... It's not got the... I need to make sure this thing isn't going to run into this thing, because otherwise that's going to make everything explode. Sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn this on now. I'm going to see what temperature we get to. Oh, come on. 800. 830. 850. Come on. 890. 900! We're there! We have 400 grams of steel. Yes! Let's turn that off. How much do we still have in here? One megapascal at 850 degrees. Let's turn off the pipe heater. Oh, yes! I have steel! So much steel! Ah. <sighs> Into the electro printer it goes, and we see what we need for a proper battery. Kit battery. Need 20 grams of gold. Uh, that's got 13 of iron. That's got 48 of gold. Let's get the gold out. Print the battery. In fact, I'm tempted to go get some more copper so that I can make two batteries. But I'll just do one. One will suffice for the moment. Ah, <sighs> yes. I am. I'm really chuffed that I <laughs> was able to get this far with only one death. So I've got to think about what I'm going to do with the power situation. I think what I want to do is bring the power inside to a battery that's here, and then that battery can charge these two airlocks so that the airlocks aren't running power through to other sections. Uh, but I'm going to need for the battery connected up to the generator, I need to have some heavy cable. Am I going to be able to charge the battery? Yes, I am, because I've got a coal generator outside. And that is going to be used to charge up the battery. And then that'll that'll work really nicely for giving me a secure power supply for a while to then use the coal to build enough stuff that I can build more solar panels. And then I'll put solar panels and wind turbines outside to try and get more power that's passive. No, Nev, the temperature's horrible day and night. On Venus? Doesn't really matter. The other thing that steel is going to allow me to do is build the stuff I need to uh, capture the, the oxygen from gold so that I can start pressurizing my base with oxygen and make it breathable. Um, we need heavy cable. How many of that am I going to get? 25. All right. That might just be enough, maybe. I'm going to put the battery just here, I think. What do I need next for the battery? Welding torch and four iron sheets. Let's 
screwdriver. There we go. Battery constructed. Yeah, showers are going to be tricky because I imagine that consumes a decent amount of water. Which I don't want to be consuming a lot of. I imagine. So I'm probably going to have to hold out on the showers for a bit. Hey, Dragnon! How's it been, mate? It has been a while. Thank you so much for your insanity. <laughs> oh, your... Hang on, how many months was it? Whoops. I don't know what to do. 51 months. Tier 3. And an, <laughs> 20 gift subs. I hope everything's been going well for you, mate. Uh, I kind of assumed you've just been busy with work and the work timings haven't really lined up with the stream times. Speaking of stream times, they're going to get weird and new and different in April. Uh, there are going to be some significant changes coming. Uh, that are necessary. I, I do not have a new day job, no. Uh, I have a... Well, it's because I'm going to be needing to take Toby to daycare. And daycare doesn't open until 7am. And I usually start streaming at 6am. So those two things do not combine particularly well. Uh, so my streams are going to have to shift around a bit. Uh. And uh, everyone should make sure they check <laughs> check the uh, uh, what should I call it the schedule on Twitch because it'll make it easier to follow once I've solidified what the changes are and can set them all up. Oh, Charlie, really? All right, let's put some coal in and get that battery charged. Oh, really? You want to be up now, do you, dog? That one's happening. Oh, dear. Charlie, you, you're a menace sometimes, you know that, dog? You're a real menace. I'm going to disconnect the arc furnace for a moment. While I figure out how the rest of this is going to have to be fixed. Because this thing's going to have to be removed. Or moved. Okay, take that to there, that to there, drill. And that's going to go that way now. Then we have that go down there, that go to there. Switch this out for my wire cutters so that I can splice these two. Okay, I think Charlie might need to pee. Critical. I'm gonna let her out. Temperature high. No, better. Temperature no. critical. Over here. Yep. No. Cognition low. Cognition low? Ah! No, bad room. Uh-oh. I think the dog's killed me. 
No, she killed me! No! <laughs> I emptied my waste tank, but it was too late. Charlie, why? Why did you do this, girl? Ah. Oh. Why? Dang it. I did so well. Ah. Oh. You're a shadow spy, aren't you, Doug? Aren't you? Alright, I'll let you out now properly. Charlie 1, me 0, but also Charlie 2, me 0, because she turned off my stream that when we first were at the test. Nope. Okay, Freak. Crazy pony. Oh, that's so annoying. I, I thought I would get through this stream with just one death. <laughs> well. That happened. Alright. Um, where's that battery? Battery goes in. Power goes on. Crowbar. Shut. And let's cycle. Man. <laughs> the joys of dogs. She was so desperate to get outside. I just felt too guilty. Those big brown eyes. I couldn't res couldn't tell her no. Let's do this a bit more neatly this time. Like so. Oh no! I didn't have this on! I've been wasting all that power! No! I wasted all that coal! Hope I did. Oh, man. Where's that coal? Hopefully, there's more around here to the left. I think there was more. Oh, it'll be good to have uh, passive power generation going eventually. Yeah, it's a good thing at least I've got the battery now, so I'm not going to waste a lot of the energy from the coal. It should all get stored. Three, is that going to be enough? Probably. Yeah, it'll do. That'll do. You think it was something like 12 to fill a battery? Um, okay. We'll go with half of this then. Alrighty, let's go inside and stare at the glory of my new battery.
Say it, Shadow. <laughs> yes. You'll have the cockatoos bring Charlie her reward. The cockatoos would be eaten if they got near Charlie. Thankfully, they're smart enough not to. Uh, but at that note, I think I'm going to call it a day as well so I can get on to making Toby his dinosaur birthday cake and hopefully do some editing and maybe even some more recording of the scrapyard because I need to do some more recording as well. Uh, so yeah, next week I will probably be playing something not Stationeers, but I am going to come back to this save. Uh, next week and the week after there might be some brand new games that I might be wanting to take a look at. Uh, I may try and do something odd like two hours of the new game, two hours of this. I'll see how I'm feeling about it. Uh, but there's a new game I want to try out next week that I should be having access to before its launch. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. See how good the game is. Could be interesting. And then hopefully the same the week after that. There's something else coming out then that I've already forgotten what it is. There was something. There was something. Um, Underground Alone's going to be on a break for a little while, I think. Uh, as I've got a few other things I wanted to do. And with the Station Is update coming out, I couldn't resist playing it. I was too excited. I wanted to play it. And I want to play it more, which means I might. it might fit in somewhere different with my new schedule. Stationers may well end up being a Monday thing or Sunday for the rest of you because my Sunday may well be me and Shadow streaming Space Engineers together. But it's all going to be a bit in flux while I try and figure out what really works for me and still allows me to record and edit and spend time with Toby and do all of the things that I need to do. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a big shift for me, I think. But hopefully we'll end up with uh, the content's still coming on days when you guys can still watch it. Yeah, Splitsy streaming on the weekend could become a thing, which might make it easier for people to be able to watch. Uh, we've got one more week of Enshrouded, I think. Is likely how it's going to go. We'll be playing it on Monday, and then that'll probably be all for Enshrouded, and we'll be playing something else, I reckon. But we'll see. It depends what we're feeling like. We haven't decided yet. But yeah, things are going to be different. That's all I can tell you for sure. But keep an eye out and I will be making a uh, an update to the schedule after next Monday to whatever I'm planning on doing so that you can go onto the Twitch schedule and see it all in your local time zone so that you can see what's going on there. Uh, core, short answer is no. I don't think you'll get a community server for Icarus. Because it's a small number of players game and I don't think there's a lot to be added from having uh, a server um, alright cool so I will be back on YouTube on Sunday with some scrapyard hopefully next week I'll get plenty of time to work on another tutorial as well because I want to get the next tutorial out there are a couple of little tutorials I want to do as well perhaps even a short video on just how to get a scrapyard set up running properly and how to make it nice for people but we'll see there's a lot of things to do and there's a lot to think about so there's all that and plenty more to come and i will see you then have a great one everyone bye